We actually discovered SSB1 uh, a few years ago, and we actually discovered it in this organism that lives in volcanic pools in uh, Iceland. Um, and we were trying to understand how on Earth anything could live in volcanic pools, and it's boiling sulfuric acid. And ultimately, we found an organism called Sulfobus sulfataricus, uh, and we actually discovered it was using a protein called SSB to protect its own genetic code from damage. We actually discovered that we had two copies of exactly the same gene uh, within our body. Uh, and that was kind of a, a bit of a eureka moment because, you know, we're, we're actually separated by three and a half billion years of evolution. And for life to keep exactly the same protein for three and a half billion years, you know, it's pretty important. Really, in the normal cell, it's like a guardian angel. It's looking after your genetic code. So if your genetic code gets damaged, uh, SSB1 rushes there and it then uh, uh, works with other proteins to repair the damage to the genetic code. Almost all the pathologies of aging as we get older, such as cancer, such as Alzheimer's disease and uh, arthritis, they, are, they all actually have the same foundation and that's because you're losing parts of your genetic code as you get older. Now SSB normally functions to stop that. We actually realised it was connected to a number of pathways uh, in the human body. And one of these pathways was novel. Nobody had ever discovered it before. And with a, a lot of experiments down the line, we've actually discovered this pathway is actually a pathway which is controlling ageing. So as we get older, uh, our genetic code starts to deteriorate, but that isn't caused by natural processes. It's actually caused by the body down-regulating all of these different proteins that require for repairing your genetic code. And we've actually able to manipulate this new pathway and we can actually slow that whole process down. So we can make cells believe that they're much younger than they actually, actually are. Developing a drug which uh, prevents aging is uh, kind of the holy grail uh, of the scientific world. Uh, we, we're not necessarily aiming to make people live uh, much longer, but we, what we're actually trying to do is making people live healthier for longer. So rather than having a period of 15 to 20 years of chronic disease, which most uh, people have as they get older, we, we're planning on shorting that to maybe five or six years. We, we can bring this uh, drug easily to the United States and probably find money for it to be developed there. But again, it'd be another example of a, an Australian invention being sold cheaply uh, abroad. Uh, our, our driver here is that we want to keep this drug in Australia. We want Australians to benefit not only medically from the drug, but also from employment and revenues and taxes generated by the drug sale.